Hey, babe. Getting ready for work. And I was thinking, you know, to wear your favorite jacket. You know, saying that it is our um, 16th. How do I look? You don't like the jacket? Really? Are you sure? It's your favorite one. Of course you're kidding. It's been 10 years since you left me and the girls. And it still feels like yesterday. I miss you so much. Everything I need, you got it all. The only, only one that my heart wants. Yes, sweetie. I know I'm ready. Bye, love. Because you're the only one that my heart wants. I love you and you love me. Nothing else should really matter. Baby, you're the only one that my heart... Oh, you didn't. I did. You like it. Mm. Thanks for taking such good care of Daddy Emily. If I don't, who will? <laughs> um, where's Tiffany? Present. Still in your night where? It's summer, remember? No school. Oh. Keep forgetting it's the summer holidays. It's also your birthday today. Right. Wow. I can't believe you're turning 16 today. Hmm. How time flies. Anyways, so what do you want to do for your birthday today? I don't know. Do you want a birthday party? No way. I don't want to script from school, come here to come and eat my food without a birthday present. No. Really? <laughs> okay. So what do you want then? Mm, maybe a dinner with grandma. Okay. Uncle Matthew. Then maybe I'll invite Vanessa over. Oh, okay. Family dinner it is then? Yes. You want cake? I could choose some. Okay. What else? As a 16 years old birthday gift, I would like a car. <laughs> Young girl, you're not getting a car until you graduate from the university. Okay? Dad, come on. Mm. Mm. I will see you lovely ladies when I'm back from work, okay? Okay. Bye, Remember to take care of the house. Okay. Bye, Daddy. the hell out of this bread we love <laughs> Matthew is going to have toast specially made for him by Emily Yes, 
and she has invited you and the rest of the family for a dinner. Oh, sweet Tiffany. She invited me to her dinner party. <laughs> yeah, you know how much she and Emily love you. Tell her that I will be there. Alright, Mom. Um, don't forget when coming to come with her gifts or you won't be having any meat in your birthday dinner. Strictly said by Tiffany. <laughs> Grandma never forgets to visit without a gift. Alright, Mom. I'm on my way to work. I will see you later in the evening. Okay? Love you, Mom. Bye. Yeah, my mom said she's going to throw a pool birthday party for me when I turn 16. Pool birthday parties are so cool. What do you think, Tiffany? No, I don't want to. Why not? Nothing. But birthday parties are fun. You should totally have one. No, I don't want one. So do it. It's Uh, what was that about? You should probably go. We'll see you at dinner. Okay. One well, password to the compound. Yeah. Okay. Can I come in? I miss her too, you know. You don't even know her. You were just four years old when she died. Still, I miss her. Sure. I miss her too. Is that why you don't want to have a party? You know, she threw me a big surprise birthday party when I was six years old. And she died on the same day. She died on your birthday? Not on my birthday exactly. She slumped at my birthday party. We rushed her to the hospital and the following day she died. Mm. And what's in the past is in the past. Thanks, Sissy. I'll always be. Sure. I'm calm lying down and stop acting cringe. Okay. Tiff, Emily, I'm home. Daddy! Oh. I'll come back to you. Emily, how are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm okay. Hello, Martin. Like that. Let me go. How are you doing? Mm, I'm good. Yeah. I'm okay. I'm fine. I got you something. Yeah. Happy birthday, princess. Mm -hmm. Did you reach the show? Yes. I got you the dress you had, man. We went to get grandma something. Daddy, thank you very much. You're welcome, princess. Now we'll get ready. The grandma will be here any minute. Any minutes. And Tina is not here ready. Tina is here, love. You bought food from outside? Not just from outside, from our favorite restaurant. On my way to work, I told the manager it was your birthday and I placed the other. On our way back from work, we picked it up alongside the kicks. So here we are. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just people freshen up and we are back. Yeah, okay. Me too, even though you forgot to get me a dress. Come on. I owe you one, darling. Of 
You look beautiful, princess. <laughs> Thank you. I knew it was going to fit you perfectly. Thank you, Dad. You're the best. <laughs> You're welcome. Mm. Your grandma is here. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go see it. I really miss her, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I have one. Okay. What do you call a short mom? A short mom? <laughs> Hmm. Minimum. You saw it. Okay, I have one. I have one. Okay. If you're expecting the unexpected, mm -hmm. does it make the unexpected to be expected? Mm -hmm. well, uh, it's just like that saying when the desirable is not available, the available becomes the desirable. Ah. Exactly. Mm. I don't understand. Mm. <laughs> Wow. Mm -hmm. Your mom will be so proud to see the beautiful young lady you have told us. I need water. Tiff. Let a bad memory ruin your birthday. Hmm? You're 16 now. You're a big girl. Two more years and you have yourself a car. A car? Uh -huh. But you said you're not getting me a car until I graduate. Nah. You can have one when you're 18. Thank you. You're welcome. But on one condition. You have to promise me that you're going to let the past remain in the past. You know, it's not your fault that she died on your sixth birthday. I miss her too. I do. But I have you and I have Emily. And that's what matters the most right now. Okay? You have to promise me that you also move on. Deal? Deal. Sorry. Well, let's go have our dinner, okay? Sure. Oh, grandma is waiting. Clean your eyes. Clean your eyes. It's not a sad thing. Alright? Alright, let's go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Many more years to you. Many more years to you. Many more years, many more years, many more years to you. Make a wish, baby. Yay! What a joke. First to be happy for it. Aww! Oh. Alright. All right. What? <laughs> Let's cut your cake. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So, since Tiffany wants us to live in happiness and love, mm. when we spell love, you cut your cake. Alright? <clears throat> so, give me L. L. Give me O. Oh. oh, give me V. V. And an E. 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 Happy birthday. Congratulations, darling. Happy birthday. 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
sure. Okay. Meets, uh, meets my birthday. Meets for you. This one, which one is serious? The morning. Okay, meets for you. Meets for you. You aren't going to give that a gift? I am. Huh. It's I'll start to cheers. So, it's quite big. Um, okay. I think you like it. <laughs> Should I have to? Mm. No. My gift, my birthday. Emily! Desserts. <coughs> sorry, 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 let's go. Are you hurt? <coughs> Sausage for dessert? Thanks for coming, Mom. You're welcome. Your doctor thinks uh, sausage is for dessert. She almost <laughs> burnt down the house. She's just a child, Mom. That is exactly my point. They are still kids, and they need someone to look after them. At least why the person is looking after the person will teach them about household chores and other things they need to know. I've been taking care of them myself. I am not disputing that. They need a motherly figure in their lives. I knew this is where you were going to be as well. I knew this was where... Mama, we've talked about this. We've talked about and this. And I think it's high time you think about it again. For crying out loud, Kenneth, your girls are fast growing. And very soon, they will need somebody to guide them on how to take care of themselves as girls. Someone that will teach them about menstrual period. At least somebody they will be comfortable in discussing such things with. Listen to me, Kenneth. I know you miss her. I miss her equally. I miss every day. But she will want you to carry on with your life. It has been 10 years. 10 whole years, Kenneth. Please. You have to do this, at least for the sake of the children. Okay? Okay, I'll think about it. That's true. Okay? Okay. Yeah, let me walk you to your car, please. please take good care yeah. of yourself. Mama, before you marry, marry me of this night. <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> bro, bro, where are the girls? They're in their room already. Oh, okay, okay. I'll come back, man. Man, thanks a lot, bro. How are you? I mean, I appreciate your coming. Thank All you right. so much. It's not the same thing. All right. I think I should take my leave now. All right, right. that's fine. No oh, wonder. Ken, you know Mosi is right, right? About what? Come on. I had your conversation with her. About the girls. You know she's right, right? Imagine, we're celebrating Tiffany's 16th year birthday today. 16, <sighs> Ken. She's no longer a child. She needs someone to teach her all the things Mosi talked about. And for you, you need to get someone, Ken. You need to. You need to move on. Well, I don't know. I'll see you tomorrow, bro. All right? Oh, I'll I think know. about him. Okay. Right, if. All right, brother. I'm not it's seeing you off, man. It's okay. <laughs> All, All right, right, bro. All right, bro.
that deserves better. I mean, she's not going to move on until we do something about it, though. Searching for very long, looking for someone that would be the one, someone that would understand. As I've been hurting, you should know that I've been hurting for very long. Feels like I'm broken. You should tell me something. Tell me something that I've never heard from another woman. You should show me something. Something that I've never seen before. I've been waiting for the right one. I've been waiting for the right one. Alright. So, um, I'll see you two later, okay? Okay, bye, guys. You too. Remember, take care of the house. I'm not going to keep on this, alright? Wait for me. Someone who can make me feel alive. So, would you tell me now? Matthew. How are you darling? Mm. How are you? I'm fine. Where's your sister? Sister. Hi. How are you? Fine. Would you hug me? Hello. Hey, Peg. <laughs> How are you? Oh. Hmm. So why did you girl send for me? It's about dad. Your dad? Yes. I heard both of you talking yesterday night. Really? Yes. And to be honest with you, Dad is not going to move on until we do something about it. Hmm. What should we do now? Do you have any idea on how to get your dad on a date? Yes. Oh, really? I... You and I know that Dad is not going to approach any woman. Hmm. Have been to his office, have followed him to work, haven't gone on rare occasions with him. Hmm. I know. Me too. So here's the plan. Okay. There is this this insight I overheard Vanessa's elder sister talking about with her friend. Really? And I checked it out and it was legit. Really? Yes. I think we should sign him up. Hmm. Yeah. I have a really good picture of him. Wow. Maybe he can even find someone interesting in it. Like a second soulmate. Hmm. A second soulmate? Yes. There is no such thing as a second soulmate. You only get one soulmate in life. Mm. And how old are you again? 14, exactly. How could you know anything about soulmates? I should be asking you that because of the huge misconception you just uttered. <laughs> second soulmate. What? Misconception? Where did you learn that word from? Misconception, as if you even know the meaning. Opinion? that is incorrect, based on wrong understanding. Mm. Wow, she even knows the meaning. Mm. The huge school fees your dad is paying, it's not in vain. Trust me, she doesn't even know anything about soulmates. And you do? Girls, 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 stop. Let's stick to the plan. There's internet in the house, right? Always. Good. Just go get your laptop so we set the profile up. Sure. I have a really nice picture of him on my laptop. Misconception. From the crossword puzzle game that I play with my dad. Oh, great, great. I see. Smart girl. Yes. Okay. Okay, ladies. Do not send any of the profile we checked out any message. Should they reply any of the messages sent in any way? Okay. And one more thing. Do not let your dad know about this till we get to this. Okay. All right? Sure. All right, I'll see you guys in a few Goodbye, Uncle Matthew. Bye, darling. Bye -bye. Yeah, bye, bye. 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 A blind date? Not entirely a blind date, because I've told her so much about you. Hmm, and I've heard nothing about her. How nice. Calm down, she's a friend. Someone you should meet. I'm sure you like her. 
You like her? What makes you think I like her? She's great with kids. She has kids? No, 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 no. She has older sisters that have kids and she's great with them. And she's, she comes from a very decent family. Someone you will like, I promise you. Should I invite her for dinner with us tonight? Dinner where? At your place now. At your place, man. I'm not entirely sure I'm ready to date, bro. Okay, not again. It's been 10 years. 10 good years, man. You can't continue being lonely like this. You need someone for your girls. They are so growing like weeds, so fast. You need someone for them, man. Fine, let's do it. All right, I'll just test her now to see when she's available. All right. All right, bro. Hello, Hello. Huh? He invited her over for dinner. Who is having dinner with who? The lady on Kumachi was chatting with from the dating site. He just chatted me up and said that she's coming over. Today? Yeah. And dad is now aware that she's on a dating site, right? I guess so. Do you think he told him? I don't know. Let's just find out. Okay. Okay, hello Uncle Matthew. I'm fine. Is Dad with you? Okay. Did you tell him how you met the lady? No. Don't you think we should tell him? Go with the flow. Aren't you worried about their conversations? Okay. Bye bye. What did he say? He hasn't told Dad yet. This is going to be interesting. No, it's not. It's going to be bad. Like, can't real... you be optimistic every time? Always thinking negative. Think positive. Oh, please shut up. Yeah, I'm going to have it to really negative. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, bro, are you really sure about this? Come on, okay. Come on. Just relax and enjoy your, your evening. Get to know each other. Ha. Let me serve some drink. I think she's here. Oh, you handled it. Oh, okay. Finally meet you. Um, Simia, welcome to my humble home. Thank you. Your house is beautiful. Thank you. Uh, this must be your kids you told me about. Um, Tiffany and Emily. Told you about? Uh, I'm Tiffany. I'm Emily. Welcome, welcome to our home. Thank you. Thank you. Um, please have a seat. Uh, girls, okay. let's just let you down and enjoy the evening. And then she gets to make sure that's shall we? So, I hope you would like what we have on team.
You know, I was so surprised when I got a text that you wanted me to come over for dinner. Oh? Why is that? Mm, because I've never done it before. You've never been to someone's house for dinner? No. Not a guy that I just met on a dating site. It's kind of strange, but for some reason it doesn't seem weird. <clears throat> yeah, um, I get what you mean. Um, could you excuse me a moment, please? Sure. you tell me, man? Man, I don't know how you're going to react to this. So you decided to throw me under the bus? Look, I'm sorry, but I hope you've not said anything contradicting to her. Not yet, but I'm going out there to tell her the truth and send her home. No, Dad, you can't. Excuse me? Dad, you can't even send her away without at least trying to know her. We have worked so hard to get to where we are. We won't let you do that. They know about this? It was her idea. Whose? Mine. Dad, come on. You have been moping around for years now. You deserve to be happy. And I love my life exactly the way it is. But you deserve more happiness. So please do this for us. Do it for them. Please. Fine. But this conversation is not over. Okay. okay. I've been searching for very long, looking for someone that would be the one, someone that would understand. Yes, I've been hurting. You should know that I've been hurting for very long. Feels like I'm broken. You should tell me something. Tell me something that I've never heard from another woman. You should show me something. Something that I've never seen before. I've been waiting for the right one. I've been waiting for the right woman. I've been waiting for the right one. Please, Why were you looking at her like that? I don't like her. What? Why? She eats loud. She eats with her mouth open. And I'm pretty sure she's a gluten, she's cryptomania, and one day we'll just find that everything in the house is gone if we don't get rid of her. Wow. So that's why you don't like her. Look at you talking. You're, you're not serious. <laughs> Look, Emily. I'm warning you, don't ruin this for dad. In fact, you stay here. Stay here. I don't see you outside. If I catch you outside. No one tells me what do. So. What do you think? She's she's okay. Are you still going to see her again? Uh, sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. Dad, is she coming over? Yes. Um. I hope you guys don't mind. No, we don't. Awesome. Emily. It's okay. Fantastic. You girls are the best. She'll be here soon and I'll see you all when I get back from work, okay? Alright? Alright. Oh. Emily.
this is my mom. <laughs> She's pretty. I know. And dad. Yes. <laughs> this is me and this is Tiffany. Mm -hmm. Same eyes. <laughs> This dress is so beautiful. <sighs> yes, my mom loves the dress so much. Me too. And my dad bought it for her on their anniversary. Oh, you mean she took this picture on their anniversary day? Yes, it's her anniversary dress. <sighs> this is so beautiful. <sighs> I wish I could have it. I love her sense of dressing. Yes, me too. Okay. I like your toast. What? I'll see you later. Can I have your toast? Bye, right, Daddy. Well, take care. Okay, you owe me a toast. Okay. Hey, Emily. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Um, please, can you get me the picture album of yesterday? Um, okay. Thank 
вещи. Thank you. Okay. She broke up with you. Yes. Why? I don't know. I didn't get the chance to. She left a note saying that she's sorry and she can't do this anymore. She broke up with you by a note. I told you this was a bad idea. I never should have started dating anyone. She can go. You may find someone better. I'm done dating, Matthew. Two? Yes, and they are really nice. <laughs> that was what he said about the one that broke up with me over a note. These two are different. They are mature and more intelligent. More of your spec. Guy, I beg. I'm not interested anymore. Please. I said I'm done dating Matthew. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Let's make a deal. What deal? You promise you will delete my profile and never bother me about dating again? Okay. Yes. If you don't propose to the meeting with them, you have to give me a shot and try to make it work. And if it doesn't work, you will delete my profile from the site, Abby? Yes. Fine. We have a deal. When am I meeting the second one? All right, no one. Take care, bro. All right, no. Cheers, bro. Bye. I've been searching for very long, looking for someone that would be the one, someone that would understand. As I've been hurting, you should know that I've been looking for very long. I wasn't expecting you to be this easy to talk with. <laughs> really? But I'm glad you do. Because I wasn't going to date someone that wouldn't give me his time and attention. But seriously, did you cook this? You still don't believe I did? No. Why not? It tastes so good, delicious, and so divine. And you think I can't cook something this delicious? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're in for a treat. <laughs> Would you take my hands and be mine? Oh, my baby. Be no holiday for your case. No other place I won't go. No other person I won't follow. Everywhere you lead, I will go. Cause every other road lead me back to you. <laughs> My last relationship was a mess, a huge mistake. I wasn't even sure I was going to date again. <sighs> but then you came along and told me not to be everything I want in a man. I am. Of course you are. <laughs> Would you take my hands and be mine?
I don't like her. What? She's amazing. Amazing? Why do you like using words that I don't even know the meaning of? Who told you I don't know the meaning of amazing? Define amazing. Okay. Impressive. Excellent. And you think she's impressive and excellent? Duh. <laughs> she's not even close to that. She's an epitome of selfish. What? Yes. All she was talking about was about her needs, her wants, what she wants in a man. Me, 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 me. She's not good for that. <sighs> okay, we'll see about that. <sighs> So what do you think about her? Well, I think she's a good person. I think so too. Really? Yes. Do you like her? Well, she's likeable, so yes. He likes her. <laughs> Let's go, you know? Okay. God. I hope she doesn't come back. Hey, Tiffany. Uh, How are you today? I'm alright. My dad is not here. He traveled. Yes. We spoke and he asked me to come spend the weekend with you and Emily. Really? Yes. We're going to have a fun weekend. Where is Emily? Aunt Mirabel. Hi. You're here. Yes. Your daddy asked me to come spend the weekend with you girls. Just okay. the weekend, right? Yes. Then after that, you go. Except you want me to sit in his back. Um, I'll be in the kitchen. Okay. Um, I'll take you to the room. Thank you. Okay, let's go. This right here. My dad and my mom. Emily? Mm, you're so pretty. Yeah. Then this was her on her anniversary. Wow. This is a lovely dress. Oh, it looks so perfectly on her. Yes, this she's, was my favorite pick of her. She's so beautiful. She is. Oh, and the shoes. They are so elegant. Right. Oh, yeah. She was indeed a classy woman. She was. She's so beautiful. <laughs> Just like you and your sister.
Hello, good morning. Hi, Tiffany. How are you? I'm good. How was your night? My night was good. Yes? It was okay. You're leaving? Yeah. So soon. I have something I need to go do urgently. Oh. <gasps> Did you hear something last night? Something like what? A noise. What kind of noise? You know what? Never mind. Okay. See ya. Let me. Thank you. She broke up with you over a text message, bro. A text message. This is crazy. Well, what is it about you that all these girls are leaving you? What's the problem? Are you sure you're not the one doing this? Guy, we are the deal. And I am very sure I am keeping to my own end of it. Did she at least state her reason for leaving? She did. Uh, but it makes no sense. I don't understand. Something about not being able to compete with my first wife. What? <clears throat> Hold on. Yeah. Reach for yourself. What does she mean by she can't compete with your first love? I have no clue. Okay. Are you sure you're not talking about your wife when you guys are spending time getting to know each other? <laughs> Bro, during our conversation, I'm not even sure that there was a time I chipped in something. It was all about herself. Me, 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 me. It felt very weird. Yeah. Oh, she can't compete with your first love care. This is weird. Oh. And bro, I should call you quit at this point. No, no, no. Calm down, King. Calm yeah. down now. Ah. You still have one more day to go. Yeah. Mm. So that this one will probably uh, paste, think... put something by my windshield and, Stop, and tell me I'm breaking up with you. I can't do this. Stop, Joe. Let's hope this is a perfect match. This one might just work. Fine. When am I meeting? Okay. Let me chat her up. Thank God. This is the last fix. one. Come on. This one will work. I promise. Mm. I hear you. I saw you talk about the first two. Calm down. Oh. I've been searching for very long, looking for someone that would be the one, someone that would understand. Yes, I've been hurting. You should know that I've been hurting for very long. Feels like I'm broken. You should tell me something. Tell me something that I've never heard from another woman. You should show me something. Something that I've never seen before. I've been waiting for the right one. I've been waiting for the right woman. I've been waiting for the right one. Someone who can love, someone who can heal, someone who can make me feel this way. Someone who can love, someone who can heal, someone who can make me feel like so. Would you tell me now? Oh, baby, would you take my hands and be mine? Oh, my baby. 
for your case. No other place I won't go. No other person I won't follow. Everywhere you lead, I will go. Cause every other road lead me back to you. Baby, you should know that you're the one. Every other girl, I make believe. Everything I need, you got it all. You're the only one that my heart wants. I love you. You love me. I like, I like her. her. She's super cool. I know. So, what do you all think? She's a perfect match. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> all right, fine. Let's go. In. <laughs> you're spending the weekend with us. Yes, I am. I hope your dad told you, right? Yes. We suggested it. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> okay, so tell me. What do you guys want to do for the weekend? We should shop. Oh. Do ah. you have money? <laughs> exactly. So shopping is okay. off our list. We could do something that will not require us to spend money. Something right. like what? Uh, we could. I know. How about I treat you girls to home facials and beauty treatments? You know, to get this beautiful skin of yours to glow? <laughs> Hmm, we could do that. Sure. Sounds amazing. Good. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm in. Good. <laughs> All right. So let me just take my bag no, and let me do it. Let me do it. Okay. Thank you, girls. I've been searching for very long, looking for someone that would be the one, someone that would understand. Yes, I've been hurting. You should know that I've been hurting for very long. Feels like I'm broken. You should tell me something Tell me something that I've never heard from another woman You should show me something Something that I've never seen before I've been waiting for the right one I've been waiting for the right woman I've been waiting for the right one Someone who can love, someone who can heal Someone who can make me feel this way Someone who can love, someone who can heal, someone who can make me feel alive. So, would you tell me now? Would you be the one? Oh, baby. Would you be the one? Would you take my hands and be mine? Would you be the one? Oh, my baby. Would you be the one? No holiday for your case. No other place I won't go. No other person I won't follow. Everywhere you lead, I will go. Cause every other road lead me back to you. Baby, you should know that you're the one. Every other girl, I make believe. Everything I need, you got it all. You're the only one that my heart wants. I love you. You love me. Nothing else should really matter. Ooh, cause you're the only one that my heart wants. I love you and you love me. Nothing else should really matter, baby. Cause you're the only one that my heart wants. So, would you tell me now? Would you be the one? Oh, baby. Would you be the one? Would you take my hands and be mine? Oh, my baby, would you be the one? I've been searching for very long, looking for someone that will be the one. Someone that would understand Yes, I've been hurting You should know That I've been hurting for very long Feels like I'm broken You should tell me something Tell me something that I've never heard From another woman You should show me something Something that I've never seen before I've been waiting for the right one I've been waiting for the right woman. I've been waiting for the right one. 
someone who can love, someone who can heal, someone who can make me feel this way. Someone who can love, someone who can heal, someone who can make me feel like so. Would you tell me now? So how did you ladies spend your day with Auntie Fomo? She's so cool. You should marry her. Actually. <laughs> what? She's perfect. Just okay, perfect. Emily, but slow down. No one is marrying anyone just yet. I thought that's why you're dating her. We're not dating. Then what are you doing with her? Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, Okay. maybe we're dating. Mm -hmm. But don't you girls think it's too soon to be thinking about getting married to her? No. You don't? Yes. yes. You really like her that much? Yes. Why? Because she's kind and she's caring. Not just that. Dad, she's not like other women. She wants to know more about us. Yeah. Our likes, our mm -hmm. dislikes. Unlike Auntie Mirabel. Yeah. She was all about herself. Mm -hmm. Not even caring about us. Not even once. You notice that about her too? <laughs> yes, always. And and Ifama, she's different. Yeah. She's easy to talk to. And she asks us questions of what we want to be and achieve in life. Yes, it's true. And yes, it's true. She taught me how to cook a goosey soup. I can say I love Shalina how to cook it. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes. You know how to cook? <laughs> That's nice. Thank you. Dad. To be honest with you, she's a perfect match. Yeah. You have to keep seeing her. Yes. Okay. I'll think about it. What is it to think about? I will Sorry. think about it. Hmm. Sure. In the meantime, I need to get back to her. Night night, lovelies. Good, Good night, night, Dad. Good night. Good night for me. Good night. Oh yeah. I'm mm -hmm. Sure. Good night. Party pooper. Good night. Good night. Good night. My privacy. Good night. Out. Out. Thank you. Oh. It's sleepy. You made quite an impression on my girls. Oh, they made even a bigger one on me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They had a lot to say about how you are such a cool and amazing person. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, they went ahead to say that you're the perfect match. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they said that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You told them to cook? Yes, I did, and they loved it. Ah. Mm -hmm. Tiffany was just bragging that she can now make a gusu soup all by herself, all thanks to Aunt Ifoma. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they are really amazing and smart, both of them. Yes, they are. You're really so lucky. I know. I know. Someone who can love, someone who can heal, someone who can make me feel this way. Someone who can love, someone who can heal, someone who can make me feel like <laughs> so. Yes, now, I'm asking you to come spend the weekend again with Ben, for me busy at work. No, but it's all part of what we discussed earlier. <laughs> I miss you. Dad, do you have a minute? No, please. I'm on the phone with Auntie Fama. Yeah, so... Dad, but I need your help with something. Can you come back later? Sorry, baby, you're saying? Maybe you should know that you're the one. <laughs> okay now, all right. Let's let's switch to video call and see your face. All right. It's better that way. <laughs> Hi. Okay, so you were trying to explain something. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Dad. It's better. Please, do you have my time now? Excuse me. Sweetie, I'm on the phone with Auntie Fama. She's trying to teach me something. Okay. Um, hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, sorry, sorry. You were saying something before Tiffany interrupted. Oh, really? It's this simple. Um, I've known this all, but I, I never knew that you could actually do it like this. What? Is 
see you. See my old brain. <laughs> I never knew you could turn. Are you kidding me? That's a nice video, okay? Daddy's on the phone with Auntie Foma. Hmm? It's like our tradition. Hold on. Daddy! So like I was saying, can you hear me? Dad! <laughs> yeah, it's fun of work with that. Dad! She needs to go. I was going to say the same. She's taking her place in his life. It's just a matter of time. She might even send you to a boarding school. I mean, a far away university. Or even worse, forget mom.
girl said you fainted. Are you okay? Girls, please. Can you give your brother another moment? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I think your wife is trying to send me a message. She doesn't want me here. What are you talking about? I told you I saw her at the door last night, but you didn't believe me. Today, while I was trying to take a shower at the bathroom, I, I heard her. She came here. She was right here, Kenneth. What? At first, I thought it was my imagination, but... While I was in the kitchen today, I heard someone walking in heels outside the kitchen. I came out to check and I saw the shoes she was wearing in the picture of your sixth anniversary right outside the kitchen. I don't think she's in support of our relationship, Kenneth. I don't get it. Ghosts don't exist anymore. Are you being serious, man? Ken, I think you're doing these deliveries and remain single forever. What? Yes! I don't understand. Ghosts, imagine you telling your 40 year old that, that uh, your late wife is not approving of your relationship. It doesn't make sense. Now. I am telling you exactly what she said. And you believe that? This is, this is, this is not acceptable now, Ken. I think you're doing this deliberately too. Wait, 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 wait. You, what would I gain from... Why do you think so, I'm the one so causing this problem? We had a deal. I need you to keep to your end of the deal. At least be genuine. Be genuine with this, please. I've been fine, whatever. Look where they go. I don't, I don't uh, understand. Go, How can go, this go, be about go, me, man? It's about you. Whatever you say, brother. For me, I'm tired of the whole relationship. Dinner is ready. Okay. Are you coming? Oh, I want to be left in one place. Um, oh, oh, okay. What's he doing? He's back to staring at mom's picture. Dad. Okay. Dad. Dad, good morning. Good morning. I'm off to work. Aren't you going to have breakfast? We'll see you guys later. Okay. Dad? You're going to be hungry.
He's back to drinking again. And I think it will get to us if we don't do something about this. So what should we do? Should we call Uncle Matthew or Grandma? No. We, we can't call either of them. At this point, I don't think we even listen to anyone. He might even get angry that we complained about him. Remember what happened last time? You want it to repeat itself again? No. But we can't let him slip back into depression. You have to make things right. What? Yes. That's the only thing that can get him back on track now. I think you are right. I am. <sighs> Girls, I'm home. Tiffany. Emily. Here. Auntie Foma, please, you need to come back. You need to go home and please don't come back. Auntie Foma, please, we aren't going anywhere until you come home with us. Yeah. Go home, girl. Wait. Auntie Foma, where are you? Auntie Foma. You girls need to go home. I'm calling your cab. Auntie Fuma, please. We can't go home. Oh. Why not? Dad. Dad will only get worse. At this point, I think it's only you that can help him. Mm -hmm. Your father broke up with me for lying beside your mom's anniversary dress. Dress I didn't even know. How it got there in the first place. I know this might sound crazy. But I think your mom don't want me in your lives. So please, just go. Just go. Auntie Ifama, it's not her. It's us. What? Yes. It was Emily and I. You too did all that.
Wat de hel? Ivoma. Ivoma. What are you doing with this dress? The back. The dress, Ifoma. I don't, I don't know how that got here. You know what? We are done. What? You've been obsessing about my past. First, you went about asking my kids about my sixth anniversary. And then you say lying that you see my wife, making up stories about her as if you want to know more about her or perhaps how she died. Of course not. What are you even talking about? You've been so obsessed about this dress for so long. Don't you have regards for the dead? Of course I do. I did not think that you put that there. Why would you believe me? I will not take you disrespecting my late wife's what memory. What are you talking about? You and I can no longer see each other. Are you serious? Dad, what's going on? I didn't expect this from you. And if I'm always happening. Dad, what happened? Dad? You too? Yes, and we are very sorry. But oh, why? I thought you liked us together. I thought you wanted your father and I to work. We, we did. Okay, so what changed? You were stealing all his attention. Yes. What? He was putting you first and us last. Come on, girl. That is not true. He stopped playing crossword puzzles with me. And he played with you instead. He even stopped taking us for fun activities. Where he took you? We saw the both of you having fun on his Instagram page. We were scared. We were scared that you would take him away from us. Huh? Or even worse. We thought you would make him forget about mom. And we couldn't let that happen. So why are you here then? Ever since she left. Dad has really become a shadow of himself. Slowly sliding back into depression. But when you came, you brought joy and happiness into his life. Mm -hmm. But no, we ruined it. We ruined it because we were selfish and scared. Scared of what? Look, we like you. We really do. But we love him a lot, not to let anyone take him away from us. Mm -hmm. oh. That will never happen. Dad? Dad! How did you find out where we are? Well, I found your note saying that you were going to make things right. And I figured you'd be here. Dad, we are really sorry. We are. I'm not the one you should be apologizing to. You should be apologizing to Auntie Fano. Auntie Fano. No, no. They don't owe me any apology. I understand where all of this is coming from. If you do? Of course I do. I once lost someone very dear to me. My dad. And when my mom tried to remarry, my siblings and I did everything to stop it, to prevent it. Because we are scared this new man will take the space of our father in our hearts. Or worse, they will start a family and will become second my mom's life. So yes, I get it. I told you she was free to go and she understand us. Thank you for understanding, Auntie. Thank you. You know, I truly care about you girls. And I would never, never intentionally do anything that will hurt you or your father. Sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry I accused you of betraying your mother's memory. I'm really sorry. 
really sorry. I'm sorry that I did not listen to you, that I overreacted. I felt like you were you know, desecrating my wife's memory, not knowing that they were being mischievous and up to no good. I'm sorry that I overreacted. Before, I really love you. I am sorry that I hurt you. Please forgive me. Fine. Um, I have one more favor to ask. If you've truly forgiven me, could we please go back to being a family again? Yes. I'm sorry. Of course. Now, victory, you should tell me something. Tell me something that I've never heard. I'm hungry, Tana. Who is hungry? Oh, I'm starving. Me three. You three. I'll tell you, girls. I'll tell you. I've been waiting for the rice for me. I've been waiting for the rice for me. Someone who can love, someone who can heal, someone who can make me feel this way. Someone who can love, someone who can heal, someone who can make me feel like so. Would you tell me now? Oh, baby. The place I won't go, no other person I won't follow. Everywhere you lead, I will go. Cause every other road lead me back to you. Maybe you should know that you're the one. Every other girl I make believe. Everything I need, you got it all. You're the only one that my heart wants. I love you, you love me. Nothing else should really matter. Ooh, cause you're the only one that my heart wants. Love you and you love me. Nothing else should really matter, baby. Cause you're the only one that my heart wants. 